Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of our John Curtin Wonder Start. John Curtin on Uluru. Australia things happening all over the place. We started our Settler Spam, and things are going pretty good. We've got the pyramids going, of course, and we're trying to get our farms built. This guy's going to settle down here and build three farms. We're getting another farm over here after chopping out that marsh. Um... Just to get you guys caught up, we we're going to get the boost on that. So that should get us down to like seven, eight turns. By the time we get a little bit of extra culture going, not bad. So pretty much every every settler except for this one is going to get the extra two charges from Builder, which is fantastic. Science, we are zooming right along. Let's go ahead and get currency. Uh, Slinger kill, unfortunately, we have not had barbs, so it's just unfortunate there. We need to get a pasture built as well. We can get that going as well. Water mill would help us here. Love to get to the mines. Obviously, we'd love to get to Petra. Going to be interesting trying to figure out what to do. Because we're going to grind a lot of settlers. But we're also going to want to get Petra. i got no chops for Petra. So it's going to be a, we're going to be just having to do that thing cold turkey. Or whatever that means. Um, we've got our settlers heading here, so we're going to the farthest reaches. We have some uh, spots up here located for some settlers. We're going to send the first two there, second two here. The third pair will likely go there, and then we'll have one, two, three left. It's going to be a lot of settler grind in the capital, folks. A lot of it. But we have another thing going on. Hypatia is slowly being worked on by somebody one point at a time. So here's my thought. We got the campus and we're going to get the library. I'd like to, after one more settler after this, get the campus here. And then we might just grind out a project or two in this city in order to uh, try to jump ahead for Hypatia. Because that's, that's the play if you can get Hypatia. No, the profits are still available. There's still one profit left. Crazy. All right. I'm going to go... Nah. Am I going next turn? Yes, let's go next turn. Uh, I've also purchased these two tiles here. I, the plan was actually to go Entertainment Complex into Coliseum right now. And then I saw the whole Hypatia thing. I'm like, you know what? Let's go get that library. Let's play this smart. I'd love to get Apprenticeship going. Nine turns makes our minds more valuable. Gives us a little bit of time on the pasture build and the water mill build. I don't mind that at all. Uh, let's go one more settler. I got one more chop. Probably shave off the four turn, ah, three turns, unfortunately. These guys are just trucking along. These, of course, Cahokia, the Cahokians, just getting right up in our grill, interfering with our dreams. I'm going to send this guy who's built this mine. I'm going to send him over here. He's going to go chop and farm that. I'm going to send him there. I might just mine that right now. And I could be set up for a couple of chops, potentially. I could be set up for a couple of chops. Although if I keep one, two, three. Yeah, I got to keep this tree in order to keep this breathtaking. So I don't chop that, I don't think. So he's going to be pretty productive. I don't mind chopping this, though. i got to chop these eventually as well. Maybe I chop the jungles. Get our uh, population up. We're at 679 housing. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Like this. What I'd like to do is bring these scouts and try to like clear the path so that there's they can be the person who's they could like stand like for instance i could have a scout standing here i'd know i could get across and then the then the scout could move to here and then then no one could get across so just kind of lead the path so i don't get these guys in the way all the time that would be the plan anyway so three turns am i max production here I could actually trim that down to two, and I think I'm going to do that. I think it's time to max production. I'm also going to get a mine here. We're going to improve our mines. Uh, oh, shoot. What am I thinking? I have to do these before I can get to mining, of course. 
Uh, pasture build is tricky because I don't have one, do I? Well, I guess I'd have one here if I bought out to it. I do have the top purchasing card on. It would be nice to save. 92 gold. Oh my god, it's going to be 91.8. I'm not sure if it's going to give me 92 or gold or not next turn, but I'm going to go to here and build that pasture. Ninety-two gold. Thank you for the roundup. There we go. There you go. This was supposed to be okay. It is one turn. Okay, I thought I thought it said two for some reason. I don't know what I was looking at. Uh, these scouts again are just. Please kill him. I'm gonna try and get these guys in the way. We are settling here. We have four charger. We're going to farm that. I'm going to have to buy that tile to get the last farm down. Campus will go here. Eventually, we're straight into the monument, of course. We're working the 2 3. We'll build the. Up. I got to get the farms built. One, two, three. But I got, I'm gonna go here, and then we'll go into the farm, into the farm, because that's gonna make that a uh, a three four, which is gonna really help this city get really rocking and rolling. The farming triangle, of course, into El Feudalism. Gotta be quick on that pasture into here. Should be getting that just in time. There, mind that up. Be nice to see those as three production tiles real soon you're established there we have Liang into here so I, basically I just want Liang somewhere so that I can use her to buy uh, if I need to buy a builder I got the extra charge shouldn't need builders too much considering the extra charges we're gonna get with all these settlers May the forces of evil become There's archery. There's the boost with pasture. I'm going to five turn that campus. I'm going to have this settler go to here. So annoying that I'm having to go around this guy. He's probably going to step there and I have to go here. So these three are going to these three. This one's going to here. I'm going to rock that campus and then we'll get right back into settlers. I might chop out a project to be honest with you. Might seem crazy. As long as they're only one, no, they're two a turn now, yeah. The race to Hypatia, right? The race to Hypatia. There's a meat. There's a meat. Uh, thanks for the introduction. Now I'm going to be able to trade him some stuff potentially. I don't want to lose ecstatic. It's four plus three. So I'd lose ecstatic if I gave away a luxury in Canberra. And that's 10% bonus on the yields. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't have an extra, I don't believe. Oh, I do have an extra fur. Oh, right. oh and an extra hundy. Oh, because in the second city. Okay, there we go. Let's see what we can get here. You are poor? Or... So that's the equivalent of when they would give, like, probably five gold a turn, 79. To get raw gold like that. 
but they are poor, 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 poor. I'm going to take it because I got no other options right now. And I, I could use the gold to buy tiles and, and do all the kinds of things like a diet. You're going like this, you're going like that, you're going like that. If he steps there, I'm really choked. little 3-4-3 three, three tile there. We're going to want to buy this tile. Get into the campus. In there. All by ourselves. Don't want to be all by ourselves. Don't want to be all by myself. Sorry, that was chat's fault. I really don't know what the plan is here. Getting Hypatia is huge. As a long-term plan, I mean. I think we're going to go for it. I think we're going to go for it. So next, we'll finish that one, and then we'll start another one and chop that. And see just how close we can come. To getting that. It's going to be interesting. And the other thing, too, is we can keep an eye on it to buy it with faith as well. We could jump on it to buy it with faith since we have some faith built up, obviously, right now. Fur and honey, a decidedly bear problem. An extra ivory. It's not terrible. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. You need to get more money on your hands, though, bud. You are poor. A man on a horse is spirit. And I don't like it. There's a farm. Another project. Chop that out. In three turns. So we've almost caught up. We'll probably be ahead in three turns. That'll jump us ahead. Six more. They'll be at like 43. One, we get that one done. And then we can uh, potentially buy. I think we probably buy it because with the, the AI is famous for, for buying... Um, okay, we got a nice pass, so we're not going to get blocked all the way through here. That's good. And I can move him to here to make sure that spot doesn't get blocked next turn. Now that this guy's safe. So we have a nice little path. The scouts are coming in handy. Pop nine in the cap. <clears throat> Still got plenty of housing. And we are working lots of good tiles. Really just the one good tile left to work. Oh, we're not working this. I'm not a big fan of that. Love to get to pop 10. 12, pop 10 and 12 turns. 
Pop 10 and 8 turns, still campus in 2. So we lose 2 production, gain 3 food. Speeds this up on... I'm going to do that. I like, I like that, getting to Pop 10 as soon as possible. Just say no to AI cheat spam. All right. Uh, oh, I skip. Sorry. There you go. Uh, oh, I almost deleted the farm. There we go. There's the farm. That's three farms there. Uh, I have a major problem. I have a major, major problem. I completely forgot that building this pasture was going to eliminate the charge I needed to build that farm, and now I'm a farm short. Oh my god! Because that would be feudalism done right now. I had it timed perfect, and I completely misplayed that. O M G. Four turn builder. I've got to finish that project. Oh man, I screwed that up. The pasture was helpful for science, don't get me wrong. But I did not anticipate that. Fortunately, it's probably not going to cost me because these guys still have a ways to go. I've, I got about a three or four turn buffer before I need to settle those cities. Um, it might cost me a little bit because I do need to get a builder in here. And then it'll take me two turns to get to here and build the farm. The other option would be oh crap look at this row of dipshits to settle uh, oh god there's no place to put a farm anywhere well I guess there's here I could settle this city buy this tile put a farm here and then settle all the other cities that would cost me two builder charges in the one. I don't hate that idea. It might be the... F I'll figure it out once I get my settler there, because who knows how long these warriors are going to delay me. Once I get my settler there, I'll figure out what's going to be faster to build a builder in here. Builder 325. Or to buy the builder... I wouldn't want to buy it here because it'd take me forever to get over here. I'd have to buy it here and cost me the charge. 325. Not a big fan of buying a builder with gold at this point. <clears throat> but we'll see. This guy's getting closer, of course. Like this. I'm going to put this guy like this. So. Now I'll be able to get this guy there, no problem. Leading the way. Like that. And it's back into grinding settlers. Pop in 10. Settler, or sorry, pop in 6, settler in 6. Pop 10 in 6 is what I meant to say. Next turn... We get that done, we should easily be able to buy it with faith next turn. TOA. Out the doer. So we'll be in good shape all the way to there. That's excellent. Now, here is an issue. Actually, we can go to here, and it's basically the same thing, right? We need to get over one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's no extra movement because you lose it to here, you lose it stopping there, you get to there, yeah. So 
right now we're still fine. This guy goes to here, he stops. That goes to there. Yeah. Problem is, this guy is getting to here, and he can settle any time, and I need to wait on that. Oh, wow. Look at that. We actually get it uh, next turn for free. Because we're doing three a turn, right? Yeah, we're doing three a turn. So we get it next turn for free. The only thing that would screw us is if they bought it. If they bought it on me, that would be a disaster. But I'm going to take the chance that they don't. Because it's still be, it was still pretty expensive back here for this early in the game. They could potentially do it and, and absolutely ruin my day. But I am going to live on the... I'm going to live dangerously, folks. I'm going to live dangerously. So, Entertainment Complex, I'd like to place for cost purposes, as well as the commercial hub. But ultimately, I'd like to do a three-turn builder. That's five, that's gonna cost me five turns. If I settle, if I were to settle this city, so one turn, settle in two, builder goes to here. So wait, one turn, two turns, with the settle on the second turn, the builder can pop up here, that's three turns, that's oh, right, no, that would be the same turn, then third turn, go to here, farm it in the fourth, so it's only going to save me one turn, and it would cost me two builder charges in that, so that's not worth, I don't think, I'm going to go ahead and wait. The other option would be to settle this city. I could settle this city and farm that really fast. That is an option. Drum and poetry, we want to get the recorded history. Now that we have that buff, is perfect. There's Hypatia. There's never been a better time. That was so nice. Hypatia in the house. We also have a place to build the free library. Uh, chopping out a couple of uh, projects there was absolute genius. If I do say so myself, pop 10, sorry, housing of 10 in the city. I think we jump, if we go into the water mill, that would feel okay. I'm going to go into the water mill. We're going to be, I'm gonna place the campus. I need a water mill for tech. Right here. I don't know what I backtrack to. Two galleys, ancient walls. I need a third district for mathematics. That's the next stop is mathematics. Uh Could put Petra here, and then the potential. No, let's see, see if Petra squares go in there. Um, I'm just trying to think. I need a water mill for tech. I can get it in four here, but I'm on the builder right now, and I want to get this going big time. Magma. There's what we're doing. Um. The Watermill Hill is nine turns. And go here into four turns or whatever. I don't know. I could pop a few turns in each of those. 
do some shipbuilding work. Yeah, I think water mill is there, because I'm not going to get a water mill in here anytime super soon. I got too much to do. I'm not going to get it here, obviously, because I can't. Uh, you're waiting there. Not that it matters, because nobody can get there this turn anyway, but we'll go like that. Get that. There is no easy way to train it. Get those tiles boosted up, really nice. Okay, so not great. What's the, th what's the, um, third district I'm going to get built? The entertainment complex, I guess. So we'll put, like, three turns into that. we got about three different ones we can put three turns into. I'm going to bring the settler here. Because it doesn't matter which one of these I step on, it's to the marsh next turn. So I've got, a, I've got two options for the next step. If I'm here, I can't go there. And then here, and then pray they don't stop me there. Free library. Not to mention the extra science. Coming right along on the science and culture. Next turn. Oh my god. They're just killing me right now so now we go to here and at least we're guaranteed to a spot the builders done we go to here we're into the entertainment complex there five turns we had to boost to this we get off that next turn do 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 grind and settlers that history is the version of past events that people have decided to agree so it's farm boost to feudalism oh my god are you kidding me are you kidding me it was definitely done you bunch of trolls So those four there, uh, I'm going to go like this, to there, and to here. You have got to be absolutely, positively kidding me. That just cost me another turn. Unbelievable. I guess it's perfectly optimized at least. Let me grab Cahokia for Suze. That's going to get me to 41. Probably not going to be a problem either way. So we're going to have to waste a turn on three cities. What I'd actually like to do is be here because I can settle the turn after. Yeah. That's a good point. I just I forgot about that in my calculation earlier, but that's fine. <clears throat> There's a pop ten. There's feudalism. Okay, so let me get a couple of things straight. First. First of all, we have the ability to buy tiles cheap right now.
This would be a nice tile to own to make it a um, well, a 5-1, I guess. A 5-1 with 2. But this city will be able to buy it soon enough. Oh, sorry, no, this city. Well, it's going to cost the same amount. Okay. We have a fair amount of gold. I'm going to go ahead and buy that while it's cheap. Because that's a strong tile. This city could use another strong tile. We're going to grow pretty tall, I guess, with this. Monument's done. We're going to grow our borders, and that's fine. That city's fine. Thing is, is I'm going to be settling these cities. You know what? I'm keeping it on, I think. Because I'm going to be settling these cities. Okay, so this is what i got to do. i got to take out the production. We're still grinding the settlers. Add the two charges. Buy tiles. Once we settle the cities. That's good to go. Because what's going to happen is we're going to settle all these cities. And we're going to want to buy a tile here or there. Like, for instance, I'm going to want to buy that banana tile off Cahokia before they grab it. As an example. They're going to grab that fur. It would have been nice to buy up to that fur, too, but... I don't think we want to wait on that anymore. We're, we're going to be fine. Also, we're giving up a honey. Yeah, that's the spot to settle. Nothing to do about it. All right. So, found city. Let me just, I'm sorry. I'm just completely... I definitely put in the extra newly green, too. Okay. After all that weight, you don't want to, like, forget that you didn't put it on or whatever. And these guys are going to buy that tile. The reason I'm doing this as well is because I'm going to do a quick turnaround. Uh, I'm going to do a quick turnaround into here, I think. Because I want to head towards exploration. Is there anything I'm missing that I want? We do have our outback stations we'll be able to start building eventually. We don't have a lot of, st of space that we could actually build them. I'm curious where we're going to get those built. Do something to plan out. Hmm. Getting to here for our commercial adjacencies in a era score next. Yeah, no, I'm going to go here for a quick flip around and then we'll go there. We'll go quick turn around. We have a lot of good tiles in here. Holy cow, we have a lot of good tiles. Plus pastures, right? They're so nice. Pastures are so nice. So I can actually, I can actually, if I get a builder in here, I can build this pasture and get these for free as well. Uh, build this city, build that pasture, I'll get all that for free. So there's a lot of things to take advantage of there. Mr. Brewster VMAX, thank you very much for the follow. That was a mouthful. Uh, yeah, this guy's going here. I'm going to go build, they're going to do this. I'm going to build that with those charges there. Um, actually, I could chop the jungle. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, let me let me go ahead and found this city. Let me go ahead and purchase that tile for sure. It's like it's possible that they could grab that on me as well, but. I gotta manage my money here a little bit. I could grab that as well, but grab that. These guys are gonna want to buy this tile. Let's go there. I need to be able to get in the water. I forgot to take this off last turn, so we lost a turn there. Use a, we could stand to build the walls somewhere. And Mr. Brewster come in immediately in with the sub as well. Tier 1 sub. Thank you very much for that, bud. Stealthily flying in here with the follow and the sub back to back. That's how you do it right there, folks. The Cahokia improvement's pretty sweet. 
housing and amenity, it's it's a pretty sweet tile. I'm not gonna lie. If you got places to put it, it's it's a real nice late game, especially to to manage things. Let's grab our monuments. Let's grab our monuments. Uh, this guy needs to settle next turn. There's actually oh there's a goodie hut there. I, oh that's right too. We actually opened that up. There's actually a city to be had out here. Holy cow. There's actually a city to be had out here. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Interesting. Very interesting. Well. Alright. Uh, let's delete that. What can we do this turn? We're going to eat the marsh next turn. Then we can... Uh, Trying to think. Boom. Boom. This guy's on his way there. Okay, let's go. Let's keep on moving. Your people are starved for knowledge and beauty. Oh, yeah? What's your science per turn, bro? He actually has pretty good culture. Holy cow. His culture, his culture per turn is very, very scary. It makes me very nervous. So we're going to eat this for pop. Then we'll go here. Then we'll go here. Oh my god, there's so much to do. Oh my god. Let's do all the things. In here... We're going to want to eat the marsh for population. We're going to want to work this, work that. We'll probably eat this jungle and this jungle. Get some population going. This city does not have much to eat. I could eat the cattle, but it's not, I'd like to keep the the nice tile, to be honest with you. Because we're going to have to chop that. I don't have a lot to going on here. Yeah, I've got to keep that. Maybe we eat this marsh. For some population, or maybe we just let that city go. Maybe. It's a little bit slow. Not being able to chop better settlers quite so frantically. It's a little bit annoying. So our policies are. Purchasing of tiles, I think we can take off. Serfdom. When's the next time we settle a city? We could wait five turns on that. Definitely. So I could take this off and this off. Build up some food. I'm going to grab the campus tile. Because we have a lot, it's going to be a lot of science. And then I'm going to grab the uh, production. And we can turn back on serfdom and land surveyors when we're settling cities again. Let's go there, like that. Feels good, man. Feels real good. Go like that. Yeah, we're going to work this, then come up and work that pasture. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so we can put that back on. Let's grab that sign. We got 63 science. It's nice. Detch, root, and ash. Let's go work that, turn that into a 2-5 for this city. What are we working right now, the 3-2? Yeah. We're gonna, I'm actually going to lock that in for the for the growth and not work the 2-5 until after we've gotten that pop 2 in. We're going to eat this. Pop 3 next turn. We have whales out here.
just waiting to be able to embark, essentially. Just popping around. Be nice to get the walls built somewhere as well. Maybe we'll just grab the walls in here for the science. Oh my god, I just absolutely moved that guy in the wrong direction. I was thinking that was the scout, and I'm like, wait a minute, if I have a scout here and a scout here, well, how is that a scout? And I'm like, it's not a scout. It's not a scout. Do, 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 do. Cahokia will be ours very soon. Without mathematics, there's nothing you can do. There we go. So entertainment complex complete. Do, 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 do. Whoa, I didn't do this yet. Sorry. Choose production. Into the arena. Let me lock in this super important tile there and there, and then max production. Okay, stays the same. Six turns on the arena. There's a couple of chops at least that I could do in here, get that Coliseum faster. Coliseum is, yeah, I feel like I got a chop, but. I would love to have Magnus in here to do the chopping. Puts us on a little bit of a delay. Yo, Big Daddy, how you doing? Have I played Startup Company? I have not. I have not played Startup Company. Oh man, he says. Oh man. What are you waiting for, bro? So they grab the whale and the fur, which is nice for us. They didn't grab that. We knew it was grabbing the fur, so there was zero percent chance it wasn't grabbing the fur. We could make a we can make a one of our Cahokia mounds there right out of the gate. Grab us some quick housing. While we've got it. These guys are like trolling the hell out of me by leave standing there. Alright, come off of this and I'll get into here. It's like a more fleshed out software ink about websites. I've seen it on, um, I might've even actually seen Cringer play it, but I've definitely seen it on like, uh, like Steam and that and whatever. I'll have to keep my eye out for it. Maybe I'll pick it up. I haven't, I've never heard any glowing reviews about it, to be honest with you. So I just, Arena in five, another settler coming next turn. On that city state, just got the toasty. Let's keep moving down here. Oops, this settler is coming to there. Six turn and settlers all day long. It is truly grueling. Truly, truly grueling.
shoot. It'd be nice to get ancient walls to get the boost, but it's saving me like it's saving me a turn and a bit on science versus seven turns of production. I'd rather just get into that campus, I think. To be entirely honest. Sixteen turn Petra. I got no chops for it. I can make it 14 by focusing production. Settler, settler. The settler goes here, and then I'm two left, right? Well, three left, I guess, because I have one out there. But I might save this city. I might just move Magnus up here and chop and buy that one. To send it out here at some point. What the heck? Time's at 46 minutes into the. It's Big Daddy approved. What's the problem? 3,714 reviews on Steam. Mostly positive. Mostly positive is not bad. Mostly positive is not bad. Extremely positive is better. Uh, Big Daddy approved. I mean, come on, right? Outback stations. We need two markets. God. It is grueling grinding out these settlers, let me tell you. Grueling. Check your team. Yeah, was that that was my what popped up? Did you just buy it for me? You're an animal. I was just gonna say I don't know what that was that popped up. Sometimes I get weird pop ups from Windows and stuff. I thought maybe it was just like Epic Games or something with one of their shenanigans. You're an animal. You're an absolute animal. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. I mean, we are just doing all the things here, ladies and gentlemen. Holy cow. Doing all the things. The city is done with their monument. Oh my god, I forgot to change policies last turn because I'm going too fast. Damn it. Oh god, I have a I have to settle the city. Nick oh I have to settle the city this turn. What have I done? What have I done? Oh my god. This is driving me nuts, by the way. The next turn I can get in the water, thank god. Game over, man. Just call it quits, bro. Do 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 do. Grind of that campus arena, then it's into that. Maybe after this settler, I move Magnus here. Chop out. Colosseum while I grind Petra. And then we go back to settler building. Settler grinding. I have a settler there. I have a settler going here. This city's kind of meh. I'd like to get this city and this city going. That's So this city can go there. Possibly.
Doom 12. <laughs> Build the industrial zone, bro. Uh, actually, in this game where we are kind of trending towards a science game, I would be building one or two industrial zones in appropriate cities. I would identify cities with the most chops. Uh, like maybe one or two cities with the most chops as a potential spaceport city. And then make sure that that city has industrial zone in the vicinity. And then maybe an industrial zone in another city or whatever. But yeah, there would be the potential for an industrial zone at some point. In a game, if you if you were to play this game through to its fruition, if you will. By the way, what? Uh, oh, we're over fifty minutes. We're over fifty minutes. I do believe I can call it there. That means we have, ladies and gentlemen, one more episode in this series. What do we get to? Pop. Oh, that's not bad. Seventy-seven. Turn seventy-seven at the end of three videos. That's not bad. What I'm going to do is when I get back for the final episode. We will have Petra Coliseum either done or close to. We'll have some more settlers going. We definitely want to have all the cities settled by the end. I It's definitely a little bit of a grind when you've got less chops, right? Having half your city as desert, as beautiful as it's going to be with Petra, means you're going to have less options for chops. So a productive city it is, 100%. A productive city it is 150 percent i think we grind out petra maybe eat this sheep for a little bit more population we do have the housing and we go 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 get that done once we have petra it'll allow us to grind settlers that much faster we'll need like two or three more after that so when we come back we will have uh, fully smashed all Australian things and be doing all the stuff. Getting our districts going and stuff like that. Probably like 15 or 20 turns at least. And we'll see where we're at and, and kind of run it out from there. One thing I will say is this has been a lot of fun. It was interesting to, to kind of mix and match these growth tiles with mixing in this. Having the three food on this one particular tile helped quite a bit. If I hadn't had that, it would have been a tougher decision for growth versus running this but once we had a lot of growth tiles here and even like this three three and the four three out here it becomes much more viable to run all of these faith and culture tiles because you've got the food to counteract it right so you've got the you've got the production and then the food like a five food tile like you give two of that food to here it's a two three and that's still a three food right so it, it kind of counteracts so it was an interesting little conversation to be had though around balancing the growth versus working those unusual faith culture type tiles so i hope you guys enjoyed that part of it and i hope you guys are enjoying this video be sure to like it if you have and next episode we'll wrap up the wonder challenge once again by the way the wonder challenge i know i've been mentioning this i probably mentioned it in the first two videos but you guys have been soaking up the wonder challenges by far like other than like tutorial type stuff or like really unique kind of stuff posting these videos and getting instant uh views sometimes three four five hundred views in the first day on episode one all the all the episodes right through to four are getting into triple digits quite easily that means you guys are liking it and i'm going to keep bringing it to you so wonder starts hope you're liking them and of course I did have one other thing I mentioned this to, to, to YouTube or to YouTube. I mentioned this to, to Twitch chat. I don't think I mentioned it to you guys on YouTube. Somebody was asking about the save files on an easier difficulty. And it kind of it kind of occurred to me before, but nobody has actually asked for it. So I was like, meh. You can get the seeds to those save files by putting them in a multiplayer game. But the, the seeds don't work very well. I am going to start providing two save files. One for my DAD start, one on a lower difficulty. I want you guys to throw some suggestions in chat. Or comments, sorry. Not chat. Comments. It's getting late. I'm tired. Comments in the section down below. 
let me know which difficulty you'd like to have as the alternate. I'm not going to make eight of them. But do you want Prince? Would you like Immortal, King? I'm not going to go lower than Prince because people won't. Yeah. But uh, Prince or King or Immortal, whatever people want to see as an alternative between those three, let's say. In order to have a second save file. Because the save files are being used. I, I created a bit.ly link and they're getting clicked on 30 to 40 times a week. So there's people grabbing those files and having fun with these things. And I'm happy about it. Because it takes a little bit extra time to make these maps. But when I do, we have lots of fun with them together. Alright, that's it. I got nothing else for you. You guys are the best. And we'll see you in the final episode. Bye-bye.